Welcome back to Cactus Core Play Zero Escape Virtue Celeste Reward. My name is Kevondre. Last time we got to the Dio ending, where uh, Phi, Sigma, and Dio all escaped from uh, the number nine door and then went out into this desert where the uh, the moon was all shining bright like a red diamond, or I guess like a ruby. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we got the the deactivation code for the number zero bomb, whatever that means. Um, and then we heard the backstory about how uh, Dio is a clone uh, from this kind of culty organization um, called Free the Soul, and he's a Myrmidon. Yada, yada, yada. Go watch that episode. Um, it's good stuff. All right, let's get back to it. Different world line. I think we're going all the way back here. Okay. So I don't think we've got anything else because we don't have that password for the thingy and I don't have anything on how to help K or Phi. So going all the way back to the beginning. Uh, so for context here, this was when we decided to pair up with um, Luna and go through the red or the magenta door. So I think this time... Let's go ahead and skip forward. Let's go through the yellow door with 10 Miyoji. I'm thinking we'll go through the yellow door with 10 Miyoji. That sound good to you guys? Sure. Fine! Oh, those two voices fucking suck. <laughs> That's, I didn't think this through. That means Dio and I will go with Alice. And we'll be going through the magenta door. Alright then. Better than, uh, better than getting stuck with that crusty old fod, I guess. So Clover, Luna, and I will be going through the cyan door. I don't get to go with Alice. I'm sorry. I'll try and stay out of the way. I don't really mind you, but the K guy seems really suspicious. We're all meeting one another for the first time. Aren't we equally suspicious? Hey, I'm nothing like you. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine. Eight. Seven. We need to go! The doors are closing! Come on, guys. Move. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic door is closing. To, I believe, the infirmary. Da? Boop, beep, bop, boop. So this is the infirmary? Looks like it. That's what it said on the door after all. What the hell? Why is there an infirmary right next to a warehouse? Well, it's probably here in case any of the workers get sick or hurt. What workers? Did you see the size of that place? Little Big did just be somebody's garage. Then you're saying people work here? Maybe not now, but judging by the lack of dust, someone was here until recently. There's a door at the back. Think it'll open? No way! How can you be so sure? Just look at it! You see that thing next to the door? Or what's it say? Lock. Ugh. No dice. It's not moving. Are you blind? It says lock right there! Yeah, yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe I could force it open. Right, let's have a look around, okay? Good idea. Maybe there's one of those key cards around here somewhere. Then let's get started. Alright, what do we got here? This is a pretty big screen. It's not showing anything, though. There are some arrows down here. There's a slot on the side of the screen. You think maybe something goes in here? I saw something like that in the AB room. Wasn't quite the same size, though. So you think this is a card reader? 
Yeah, that'd be my guess. Okay, card reader. Got it. There's nothing on the screen. That's because it isn't turned on. This looks like some kind of handheld scanner. Doesn't appear to be on. It might be part of this thing it's sitting on. You think if we turn this on? Yeah, I might be able to use it then. This goes like a power button. Try pushing it. Why do I have to push it? Well, it might be a trap or something. That makes me want to push it even less! Fine, I'll push it then. No, I'll do it! Ah, fine! I just need to push it, right? Please do. Please do. Er. A handheld scanner. Okay, now that we've got the power on, what are we supposed to scan? How about that square hole in the sheet? The part that's been cut out? Sure, why not? Examining the bedsheet will activate the scanner, so you need to read the hidden letters. Use the information to enter the five-digit password, then press the check button. Soft. Soft. That's it. Let me, let me look at the sheet. Huh, this seems weird. See, when I scan part of the bed, a letter shows up here. There's probably a bunch of metal plates or something in the mattress. You think the scanner's just reading the letters carved into them? Maybe. My point is you're not going to get anywhere that doing that. You need clothes. Okay, look at the sheet. Hold on. Huh. Looks like someone cut a square out of the sheet. What do you think it means? I don't know. What the heck is this? It says AED. It's an AED, just like it says, idiot. Okay, what's an AED? It stands for Adult Erotic Doctor. I'm kidding. It stands for Automated External Defibrillator. Use it to try and restart somebody's heart if they go into cardiac arrest. It uses electricity. Hmm. You think we can take it out? Probably, but what's it gonna do you? If your heart stopped, sure, it might be useful, but right now, don't think so. Eh. 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 Okay, fine. Oh, there's something on the table. Metal coin-like thing. What's this? A coin? Never seen a coin with a bump like that before. Think maybe it's part of something else? The bump might plug into something or hook into a notch. It's a notebook. Maybe there's something important in there. No, I flipped through it earlier. All the pages are blank. Huh. Nothing down here? No. A wash basin. It's empty. Scalpel. That's a fine weapon to hold on to. Oh my god. This is a laser gun, isn't it? No, it's an injection gun. Pretty much what it says on the tin. It's a gun-shaped thing that gives injections. Should we take it with us? Nah. It'll just ignite the fires of war. Besides, all it's got in is some saline solution. You can inject someone with it if you want, but it won't do anything. It's a worn-out key. Probably a lock that fits it somewhere. Hey. Okay, nothing. There are three buttons on this drawer. Well, there's no handle, so I'm guessing those buttons are how we get it open. The thing over each one looks like some kind of counter. So that means... Use the buttons to enter a pin, then press the check button. Alright, I'll give it a shot. I don't fucking know. Oh. Pills. Yellow triangles. Red liquids. Okay. Huh. Well, damn. I don't get it. There are, like, little icons that look at the shape of medicine on the buttons, right? A blue capsule, a yellow powder, and a red liquid. Have you seen those anywhere before? Hmm. Oh, hey, what's up with this? Look at all those blocks. The cover's gonna keep us from grabbing them, though. There are three empty slots. Five times five minus three is 22 blocks. I can see four different icons. There's a blue capsule, the yellow powder, the red liquid, and the green tablet. Hey, check this out. There's a couple of keyholes on the bottom corners. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I'm guessing that we're going to need to unlock those keyholes before we can get much out of it. Okay, so there's five yellow, 
three blue, two red. <laughs> did, I, did I count wrong? Each button, yeah, I know, I got it. One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, and one, two. No, I got those right. Uh, maybe we need to find the missing blocks or something. This sink looks pretty old. A mirror. I can't see anything in it. It's too dirty. Oh my god. There's dihydrogen monoxide coming out of the faucet. Can't you just call it water like a normal person? Maybe I can use the wash basin. Oh no, I didn't pick that up. Oh. What's all this then? There's a piece of fabric sewn in here. It's the same material as the bed sheets. So someone attached a sheet to this paper? I guess so. Why would someone do that? I don't know. Ask the mouse. He's a rabbit. Uh, maybe you use a scalpel for that? Piece of fabric sewn in the sheet. I think the scalpel might do the trick here. Hey, dirty fabric. What the hell? This thing is filthy. It looks like something's been written on it, but we can't read it like this. What's that? Gimme. Motherfucker. Metal steak. Ah, oh, metal steak. Hey, pretty key. Hmm. Looks like they fit together just right. And now we've got a key. A nice clean key. Just look at that shine. Okay. So turn this on. Water coming out of the faucet, it's filling up the sink. Maybe the drain isn't very good. Are you planning to wash that sheet with the water? Yeah. I don't know, that looks like a pretty stubborn stain. I don't think water's gonna cut it. Well, we don't know unless we try. Damn. Guess it's not gonna be that easy after all. Told you so. I need, like, detergent or something. Is that as far as I can go? Yeah, alright. What's, what's up here? Oh, stuff. There are a bunch of bottles of medicine here. I've never heard of any of these names. No. This thing is full of medicine. None of them have labels, though. I don't have any idea what's in them. Maybe we should just pick some and take them? No, it's dangerous to mess with medicine you don't understand. So we'd be committing a medicine... <laughs> Sadly, Sigma's joke was critically trepanned. Tre trepanned? Not very generous with other people's, are you? What's this? It says tubocurarine on the label. Tubocurarine? Isn't that... Yeah, the muscle relaxant in our bracelets. Jar containing white powder. A medicine jar. It's full of a white powder. It's cocaine. Lots, sure are a lot of jars of medicine here. I don't know what they are though. So maybe this is detergent that I can use. Uh, not combine those items. All right, then keep your secrets. Okay. <laughs> I miss anything else? Oh, I got that sheet now. Well, I'm not able to use it anyway, right? Hospital bed is square kind of the sheet. Hold on. You're planning to put that nasty sheet on the bed? W well, yeah. I mean, it looks the right size and everything. Hmm. Yes, that's true, I guess, but don't you think we should, like, look at it a little more first? I just feel like it's not gonna do us much good to try and put them together right now. Alright, what else am I fucking missing? Um...
a bed. It looks dirty. From this day forward, you will refer to me by the name Betty. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is five yellows, three blues, two reds, and I think that's what I put in before. And that's wrong. What am I missing? Yeah, I, I got that. Five seems to think we've seen something like it before. I know, I've seen it. Can I rearrange this somehow? Several cubes inside the frame. There are small keyholes in the bottom left. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Well, that went in easy enough. That's what she said. Awesome, I unlocked it. Whoa, what the hell just happened? The whole thing just moved out of the wall a couple inches. Can you pull it out? That's what that's what she said as well. What do you mean, pull it out? Huh, yeah, it looks like I can pull this case out. Well, let's have a look at it then. Sure. Move the red, green, and blue blocks to squares that correspond to their colors. You can move the three blocks up and down as well as sideways by using the directional buttons. Oh god. Boom! Look at me go. That was actually pretty easy compared to the other ones. Ha! That was a piece of cake! I guess that was a passable performance. Good work. How do I get the feeling your heart wasn't in that? Hey, did you guys see this? Moving those blocks seemed to have filled in the empty spaces on the front. Oh yeah. So now we've got six yellow, one, two, three, four, five blue, and two red. All right, then. Oh, uh, yeah. Open sesame. Well done, Sigma. There's something in here. Found a note with colored numbers on it. You can view it in by visiting the archive. Well, she knows everything. Uh, what's in the archive? Three yellow, one blue, two red. All right then, keep your secrets. What are you doing? We solved that one already. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Is it a, is it a liar? Three yellow, one blue, two red. Unless it's in the same order: three, one, and then two. Look, don't be a dick about this, okay? I've already solved this puzzle, but for some reason I feel like there's something more going on here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Arrow. Dirty wash basin, it's empty. No. I've got a jar. And into the basin you go. Empty jar. There's white powder in the wash basin. The next step should be... Oh. Fill the jar with the water. I know, I know. I'm slow. Excuse me, princess. Gonna get some water in the empty jar, huh? Yeah, pretty clever, right? Don't know if I'd call that clever. I think a three-year-old could come up with that plan. Ugh. Just do it. Fine. All right, now I just need to pour the water in. Hey, I've got bubbles. If I just soak the stained fabric in this. Oh, 
Okay. It's nice and clean. Looks completely different. Okay. So we've got... Because the, the triangle was yellow, the pill was blue, and the bottle was red. Okay, okay, I see. Three, one, two. So I want to go yellow, red, blue, four, five. Yellow, red, blue, four, five. Hospital bed, squares, and kind of the sheet. Interesting. You're going to put that fabric we bleached into the hole on the bed. Yeah, looks like it's exactly the right size. Give it a shot, then. Will do. Okay, so... You... 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 Rucid? Was I wrong? Oh, it was blue, red, yellow. Fuck me. Blue... Red... Yellow. Cured! That makes more sense than Rucid. I got it. Awesome! Looks like that did it! Hmm. Good work! The screen changed. Hey! Huh? Wait a minute! You've seen it too? Yeah! There was something like this in the AB room! The symbols are all different though! I take it you two saw one? Yeah. We used a password like this to open the safe in our AV room. You ought to write that down. Star, moon, star. Got it. No, that's cool. I can remember it. You're gonna memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. Where's the safe? I didn't see the safe. Down here? What's all this, then? Some sort of clipboard? There's a memory card on here. Yay. And a scrap of paper. What's that drawing supposed to be? Clipboard with nothing to clip. Must be board. I see. Hey! Star Moon Star. I saw a safe like this one in the AB room. Yeah, Sigma and I saw one just like it. So you think it opens the same way? Try it and find out. Awesome! It opened. Ha! Well done. Good work. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. First we've got... A map? It says Floor A. Yeah. We can take a closer look at it later. There's still, pl there's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next we've got a card. Two cards, actually. These must open the AB rooms. See? They've got Ambidex room right there. Yeah, you're probably right. Then we can use these to open the AB rooms. Yeah, but how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. We can go back the way we came, but that door's locked. I think the answer to that is in this safe. See, read this note. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened a door, you can hop through it as much as you like. Chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I carrots keep you from going in and out of them. Any color of bracelet can go through them, and as many people as you like. But, 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 you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it and solved the puzzle beyond, it warrant lets you go back until you solve the puzzle. Interesting. So it's saying that once we get out of here, we'll be able to head back to the warehouse. Yeah. There's another piece of paper in here. It looks like part of a newspaper. Why would somebody put up a newspaper in here? Radical 6 infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. The Radical 6 virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. A virus and wildfire? That sure sounds like this week. Shoutouts to fucking living in California. The WHO has confirmed that the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. What the hell? What's Radical 6? Wait, quarantine? No way. Look, we can talk about this later. Right now we need to get out of here as fast as we can. But forget it. 
Just do what I tell you to do. The last thing in the safe is probably the key. So we can finally get out of here. She's nodding. Let's go. All right, hold on. Hold hold your horses, woman. We got the uh this this boy. It's like a slot for a memory card. I think we're supposed to put a memory card in here. Try it out. Come on. You don't need to tell me what to do. I know what's up. A equals white powder in medicine bottle. B equals water. There's something on the screen. Yeah, it looks like some words. Is that a hint? A, white powder in medicine bottle. B, water. Oh, just to clean it? Yeah, I got that. Thank you very much. Uh... All right, how do I get the uh, other boy? <sighs> yeah, I'm not too concerned about the file. This thing keeps the door locked. It says lock. All right, here we go. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's jam. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da make that joke every fucking time. Shit, it's getting hot up in this bitch. Ah, no gear. I'm gonna call it here, because my voice is destroyed because the last episode that I recorded this morning was a long boy. Um, so, that's good. We did the infirmary. We're on a completely different world line at this point than the original one where we started with the lounge um so which is you know interesting it's nice to start over and, and kind of not run into the exact same events again um so my shout out today is going to go to return to arkham which is the remasters on the xbox one and ps4 of the original arkham asylum and arkham city games i started arkham asylum's return to arkham last night and uh, I've played through the original game a bunch of times. I love it. It's the best Metroidvania out there. Um, but this will be the first time I've actually played the remastered version. When we played on the channel a few years ago, that was the Steam version of the original release. Um, or 360 version, actually, I think. Either way, it was one of those. Um, and... So I've, I've noticed for sure that it's definitely a lot prettier and I'm going out of my way to not be in detective mode 100% of the time so that I can appreciate the upgrades of the of the remaster. Um, and yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, and I'm obviously enjoying the game because I love it already. But I, I, I'm glad that they remastered that for, uh, you know, current gen. Well, at this time, current gen. It's soon to be outdated. But um yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a good time, and I, I fucking love Arkham Asylum. Go watch our old playthrough of it, because it was ridiculous. And possibly great? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this time. We'll see you guys next time. Later, place.